What's going on guys? My name is Garrett from the Jobless Gamers channel. Today we're doing a squad cast episode 17. 17. <laughs> 17. Yeah, there we go. And I'm here with Mr. Boss of the Wind. Hello. And the Saints fan. What is up? So you guys to be talking about the Independence Day DLC speculation that is somewhat confirmed now. People have been talking about it. Not by Rockstar though. Um, in terms of fake DLC, as well as fan questions that you guys have about us, I guess, and then would you rather. So that's our, I guess, topics of today. And before we jump into anything, Austin, go ahead and let people know about the squeak box. So uh, it's squeak pipe, but uh, basically pipe. what I did on Twitter <laughs> yesterday, if you don't follow me or Ross or Garrett on Twitter, links are in the description. Go do that so you can be a part of this stuff. But I... Uh, you guys were kind of interested in that whole, like, voicemail thing. And like Garrett said, that's the fan questions. We'll get into that at the end of the episode. So if you want to actually hear them, just stick around to then. But basically, we have five questions from you guys. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool. But the thing is, um, it costs money. Like, we're using the free version. But it actually costs money per month. So if you guys want us to, um, we were thinking maybe we can do, like, a sponsorship thing. Where, like, every week somebody, you know pays whatever amount of money to get sponsored and then that'll go towards making the podcast better you know getting this uh squeak pipe thing upgraded to a uh like a, i guess the, the gold account i think it's called so you, we can get more messages and longer messages too so let us know in the comment section if you think that would be a good idea but yeah that's pretty and if much we guys it. if we can guys let's each all go for a thousand likes on all our videos um it really supports us when you guys do like our visit just let's our videos become more well known in the searches. And uh, anything you want to touch on, Ross, before we jump into the Independence Day DLC? I think that's it. We covered a lot. All right. Well, and let's you guys, jump. You guys sit on the head. Yeah, let's jump right into the Independence Day DLC. And Ross, you can go ahead and take it off first, I guess, and just talk about the things you know and have done on your yeah, channel. Yeah. So the Independence Day DLC is the supposed rumored DLC. We talked a little bit about an Independence Day theme when they announced the spring updates, mm -hmm. like because they said they were going to be doing more holiday themes, and the only real holiday coming up for at least Americans is the Fourth of July. And this was discovered the same way the hipster DLC was, but the only real difference about this one was that there was no description yeah. of what's in the DLC. It was just the Independence Day DLC with the hipster well, DLC. It said like, please told download us, this or something. That was the description. Yeah, the for description the, was kind of sketchy. With yeah. the hipster DLC, it literally told us like it was a normal DLC description. Yep. This one's kind of shady, so it left us a bunch of speculation. But the rumor is Independence Day DLC. So, I mean, Austin, do you think it's it's real? Well, I don't know, man. It, I mean, I guess if they found it the same way, um, do you guys know actually how they found it? Was it through like the marketplace? I think it was the marketplace. marketplace? Yeah, I, yeah, I'd it's even, true. I'd even make a video about it. I like the thing is, I believe it's real. I think it's really coming. I just don't want to be like wrong, and then it it suck or anything like that. I just didn't even want to cover it. Yeah. it just, there was such little information. It's like, all right, guys. Independence Day DLC code leaked, but I have nothing to show for yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I kind of said it. in my video, like, don't <laughs> be expecting this. Like, this isn't confirmed or anything. Like, it's not confirmed until either Rockstar says or it actually comes out like the hipster yeah. update did. But, I that mean, so random. if they found it the same way, that it does have a better chance at being real. I mean, I know, like Ross just said, we said it, what, like, weeks ago, talking about months. how it would, yeah, months, months ago. Months ago. We were like, Squadcast, awesome. like, number eight, we exactly. said, yeah, there's going to be a be awesome July, if yeah. there was a July 4th DLC, because it would make sense, right? I mean, well, yeah, Independence let's... Day, it'd be great. <laughs> Let's talk about what we talked about in that episode then in terms of what will be coming with this DLC if it's true. Of course, I think we're going to see a new clothing, the new clothing being a full-on American flag suit. Dude, in my pretty opinion. sweet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you just say suit James? Yeah, I've seen his American flag suit, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to throw up a picture on my video of, uh, of him wearing his American flag suit just to throw it up there. I think there. it's going to uh, be military theme. Really? Like, um, Garrett, I know I know. about three weeks ago on your channel, you made a video about the attack helicopter. Yeah, because and, it was like, just so random that, that we never saw one. But Yeah, and I think, like, there's also on that same picture you used in your video, there's a picture of, like, a, an ATV. It's like a flatbed ATV. Mm hmm and I can see, like, military stuff coming, like military clothing, you know, military vehicles. Yeah, I can see that, too. But here's the question, right? Every holiday DLC so far has been a timed thing. Mm -hmm. So if they like made... a few days. Yeah, if they... Well, the Valentine's, they lasted, like, a week. Or, I mean, uh, like, a month or so. But, like, if they were to add, say, an attack heli or this, like, ATV thing, and it was only there for, like, a couple of weeks, what if the people, like, who can't access it during that week or those weeks, wouldn't they be super mad, you think? 
I mean, yeah, but it's like any other years. thing. Like some, I guess some people are that's, mad they don't have the such, Roosevelt right now. But that's now. such a, the Roosevelt. Like that's just a novelty car. Like you barely even see anybody driving around. If there was an well, attack heli, people would be using that all the time. It is summer though, so I mean, if honestly, if if I was really really that, I was if I was really well, if up, they make it a month and you honestly don't get on GTA yeah, online, what if you don't have like what really if you're don't gonna, want it. Like what about for next gen? Since everything transfers over, people who just pick it up on next gen, they won't have an attack heli. But we, coming from old the last gen, we will. You know what they might do? They might add all the stuff to next generation. Obviously, because oh, they, they, I guarantee you, they will at one point. Even like the yeah. Roosevelt, I mean, yeah, they will. They have to, or just make it make it something that's available for PC and next gen players or new gen players. But I think that because I, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be some sort of timed thing, just because that's what. I mean, we've had, what, the, the Christmas one and then the Valentine's Day. Both of those lasted a week or two or three. I think the Valentine's one lasted longer because they had problems, right? Ah. They had issues. Yeah, because the, yeah. um, the what's-it-called gun was removed by accident. Yeah, and, like, no there one was could some get it, issues with that. So they but, kept it open for a while. Well, even the, the Santa, the hats and stuff like that, people found ways to get those after. I had my freaking green Santa <laughs> hat for, like, eight months I remember or that. however long it was. Yeah, but, but was that, that's going to be the, the interesting thing. Now, when do you guys think they're going to release it, though? Because, like, do you think they're going to do it on Tuesday or wait till f- actually, like, Friday? I don't think they'll release it on July 4th. Really? That's a bad time. Because, like, it on is. July 4th, I know playing, I'm not like, that weekend. Exactly. I'm not playing yeah. GTA 5. I'm Everybody's going to be out with something. family. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any friends oh. and family. <laughs> but, no, but, yeah, they'll be doing it, something. They're going to they're gonna announce it. I mean,. You never know at Rockstar. That's the thing. That's the problem that we're facing here. The same thing with the hipster DLC. It was just such a surprise. It came out of nowhere. Like we knew about it because it was leaked, but they never announced it. They never even talked about it in a newswire. Never mentioned it once. But Nothing see, about it. Another thing. Do you guys think it's too close to like them just releasing the hipster DLC to release the this? <sighs> that's the thing. Like I again, mean, it like would make just sense this because it's July. Just 4th, yesterday but... or two days ago, they released the the newest verified jobs. Yeah. Which makes sense. That's the whole month. So then I think that means there might be two DLCs next month then. There would be the Independence Day DLC at the beginning of the month, and then towards the end of the month there will be another DLC. It might be the, a casino DLC or a heist DLC, a Cops and Crooks DLC, something like that. So I don't know because normally they don't do two DLCs a month, but there's no way people are going to be happy with just an Independence Day DLC next month. It's just It wouldn't work. Well, so That would just would not work. Because it is... It's Thursday when we record this, so if anything happens, like Friday or even a Saturday morning, which it probably shouldn't, but uh, if anything does happen, then obviously we'll know. But they, if they're gonna release it next Tuesday, you would have thought they've already would have announced it today. Yeah. What they could do is release it the week Tuesday after July Fourth, and have it go throughout of all July, because then. Like Ross said, everybody that's going to be out with family and stuff, they can get that out the way. And then, bam, you get back home. Look, you got the, the this DLC to drop. And then they but can... now we're super speculating. Uh, we're, we're back to where we were with Heist back in the day. We're like, yeah, Heist is going to be well, released no, no. on Titanfall. But, I mean, let's be honest, though. If they are going to release a DLC every month, it would make complete sense to release the an Independence Day one next month. So... Yeah. Next week, you mean? Well, no, like in oh, July. Yeah. Well, next, next month, yeah, yeah. I was like, any time. I think July. they can release it any time in July and get away with it. Like, Probably I don't think so. it has to be close to the 4th of July. I think they can do it sometime Another cool the 3rd or even 4th week. If, because, um, I, at least I'm going to assume it's going to be timed. What if they added, like, fireworks or something to the sky? Similar to, like, the snow? They, I don't think they can, dude. Really? The freaking, this gen, current yeah, but, yeah. but snow... You thought you? I mean, I didn't think snow yeah, on the, the entire snow map is was snow. Just, just a particle. It's just rain. Yeah, rain. Yeah, or oh, where, dude, where Firefox, it, uh, your, Firefox your, fireworks. Your um, what's it called? Your cars like act different on it though. So like it actually had, like a I don't know, it, it was uh. It was just, it was just an adjustment from rain because even rain your car acts different. Yeah, maybe, but I mean, I don't know. Fire? You think fireworks be that hard though? I mean, I don't know. Just a couple, like, at midnight or something. Not, like, going on throughout the entire game. Oh, you didn't specify that. I, mean, I thought you meant, like, you get fireworks as a oh, item and no, you can shoot them off. I, I mean, just, like... A firework prop. I, like no, a, no, 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 no. Not, not, not like, like a weapon gesture. or something, but, like... Like, you pull a firecracker. Like, on the top of the... Like, the maze bank shoots fireworks at midnight or something. I don't I mean, know. I something cool happening, like but... But the yeah, fireworks but, can, like, kill I you. I think, man, like, through the whole time, like... 
for the whole time this DLC is out, just fireworks in the sky. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> yeah, that's what you meant. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to the Independence Day DLC, but I'm not against it either. Everybody knows what I want. I want cops and crooks and heists. But well, the cops and crooks, and that's another thing we can touch on, because that was recently leaked. I don't think the cops and crooks were made for this gen because if you read the thing, it said four people can play as like, I guess the bad guys, and then sixteen can play as the good guys. That's twenty people. That's more people than you can play in a game. So I don't know if well, GTA can handle why, that. That's why, like, honestly, that's one of the main reasons why I think that heists might even be delayed till next gen. Or no, just, oh, I know they see, are. It, it just can't because, be. like, because look, listen, this is how it's gonna work, man. Cops and crooks. I made a video about this today, or, well, on Thursday, because this is on Saturday now, but um, basically, Cops and Crooks is the DLC, and heists are the mode for Cops and Crooks. I don't like that like, at all. If that is what heists are going to be, I do not like that. Don't get me wrong, I love Cops and Crooks, but I do not want heists to be against other players. I would rather them be like single player, where it's four friends, or, or however many I mean, friends. Again, this is just speculation, it's not confirmed, but yeah. this is what I think is going to be, because I've seen some things... Well, yeah, the um, code. And, yeah, the code, and I, it just seems as if the code really signifies that you're going to be playing against other players, and that's just how it is. And it makes sense, and I believe the reason why heists were even delayed is because they weren't optimized for the current gen, for Xbox 360 and PS3. If you guys looked at the code at the bottom, it says like, well, frame rates were like 15 17. frames per second. Yeah, yeah like, that's crazy. So that's um, really, really bad. Yeah, well, I think that that's probably going to come next year. Let us know in the comment section if... Uh, now, this is all speculation, so don't, like, believe any of this stuff. But if Heist were to yeah, come... We're, we're would... normally right. I mean, yeah, yeah. but we that's true. Right I mean, now. we did predict Independence Day DLC sure. if that comes out, like, four months ago. But no, in the comment section, let us know. Would you rather Heist be just four people against a bunch of AI or four people against, like, actual players? Because that... You know what's funny? GTA 4's multiplayer had cops and crooks from day one. And it didn't yeah. have a casino? No. It didn't have a casino, but it had cops and crooks? No, but yeah, they, but they, cops they and crooks, well, that was, um... San Andreas or something? No, I mean, it wasn't really, at least from what I remember, it wasn't that, like, in-depth. Like, yeah, it, was it just, wasn't, obviously, like, this one is going to be more complex like, and Like, cops better and crooks was just, like, but, wasn't there one where it was, like, protect the president or something? I don't know. It was something along those lines. Dude, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff in that code for this GTA for Cops and Crooks. There's like a few really good missions. Well, yeah, did you I guys mean, see the the video I released on Thursday in regards to the uh, Cops and Crooks? Oh, no. uh, yeah, the casino. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I, mean, I have not yet. I did, so, and I checked it out. But isn't that the stuff we've heard about like eight months ago? <laughs> yeah, but like now we have actual code. Like now it's like, okay, is this really happening? So like, basically, what I released is some code that Lazy Gamer provided to me. And to other YouTubers, like, and basically just shows off that, you know, in the next few weeks, months, year to come, I don't know when, um, we'll see slots, poker, roulette, blackjack, and, I mean, it looks legit. Like, it's going to be in single player, multiplayer, and even possibly in your apartments, so you can customize your apartments to have, like, a poker table, blackjack table. Yeah, I mean, I think they're probably just adding stuff to the game to get ready for, because, uh, I mean, I don't know exactly how, like, the like game development works, but... From what I guess we've learned over the the period of a couple months, like they add a bunch of stuff to the game at certain points, um, so they can, you know, like the the there, I guess the gold yeah. paint job and all that stuff that we speculated about a while ago, they add it to the game and then later on they'll release it. Yeah, I mean, I think the the way it works. An example for heists. Heists are done for sure, guaranteed. Heists are complete. Like. The actual heist missions, the, what you have to do, are complete. In my opinion, they're just optimizing them now. Yeah, it's just they're just poorly optimized. They need to make sure that it can run on the current gen and be flawless for next gen. And because think about it, now that they've announced that this is coming on PC and next gen, they have so many teams. Imagine you have one guy working on current gen, one guy working <laughs> on next gen, one guy working on PC, and the other guy is just a support because there's only four guys that work on Rockstar. So, yep. I mean, they're they're spread very thin here. So. <laughs> I mean, that's why it takes them like a long time to do this stuff. So patience, so, everyone. Yeah, yeah, patience, guys. Rocks you guys are good. Get what yeah. they're working with there, man. Yeah, man, it's really hard. I mean, four people, but in reality, no. So in all seriousness, there's a bunch of people that Rockstar has on their teams, and they're actually hiring more. Um, I saw an article someone linked yeah. me on Twitter that they're hiring 
There's they were there's hiring. A new, there was there's there's a, a new game a tra- coming out. Well, I don't yeah. know if they were just hiring people to make a trailer. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna be for a new game or if that's just gonna be a GTA Online next gen trailer. Dude, it's gonna be freaking either Red Dead Redemption. I know. Or... I think it's po- it's possibly. I, I think the like. It's most probably going to be a GTA Online next gen trailer because the trailer they showed or GTA next... Online cities, city stories. Um, well, maybe, but dude, it's going to happen. City stories or like happen a the DLC trailer. trailer. They Liberty can even make city. like a story mode DLC trailer because didn't like the Ballad of Gay Tony and the other DLC, oh, the Lost true. and the Dam, have trailers. Yes, so, they had their own trailers. Yeah, so I mean. People are saying there's a new game coming out. It's probably something GTA related. That's what it seems like they're, you know, putting all the the, yeah. Yeah, the eggs. They in the definitely basket. have they definitely have teams though working on various projects besides GTA Five, of course. And because like there's a GTA Five team, a GTA Online team, and then there's also like probably like a Red Dead Redemption Two team. Well, yeah, but there's there's like Rockstar North. There's Rockstar in like the UK or Scotland or whatever it's called. There's like a yeah, freaking they have Rockstar. Rockstars everywhere. Yeah, so it they have stuff. They have people working on everything. But yep. But um. You guys want to jump into the fake DLC talk? Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have Have you guys seen any of the the fake DLCs going around? I have yeah, seen a lot really of them. They're really dumb. Pictures. Like yeah, if you so, believe them, so like, the, you need the to first one, things, yeah. the first big one that started everything was the heist DLC. And you know where that came from, right? It actually it tricked me too because yeah, I know where it came from. But uh, like some one of my uh, Twitter followers, he tweeted it at me, and you know I had some other people back it up. So I was like, all right, you know, this could be real. You know, let's, you know, make a video. Well, come to find out, another YouTuber actually, yeah, another, some another kind YouTuber of way Photoshop made, made that. that. Yeah. And, yeah, a lot of people were believing it. So what happened, there's a well-known, I'm not even going to say his name because, yeah. Uh, but um, he he makes videos. I wouldn't are, say well-known. There's Hardly. Okay, there's a guy on YouTube who makes GTA 5 content. All he does is troll. His videos are very bad. Weird. Well, he's, he's, I'm not it's say a bad. troll because like he it's, made a video a, like how to get a jetpack and you know whatever, you know people like that, you know certain yeah. people. And basically like he makes people think that something's coming. He gets especially if you're a younger uh, kid, a younger viewer, and you see oh my god heists are in, you're gonna go believe it. And yeah. that's what he that's that's what he likes to do. That's that's his thing. So he made this doctored image, and someone guyazzled that image from the video. Yeah. And spread it like wildfire, and every every YouTuber. Yeah, like on the and face even of and it wasn't even just YouTubers. I seen it at the top of the Reddit, and like on a bunch of different forum posts, people were like, "Oh my God, is this actually real?" And then Dude, we find YouTube out it's from YouTube. You guys so. didn't believe this, did you? No, I, I didn't. Did. Believe it at I all. mean, okay, no. it took about five seconds to realize. First off, there were some horrible wording issues that I never I actually, identified well, in my video. I, I like skimmed through the paragraph. <laughs> I didn't even make a video about it because I knew it was fake. Okay, I, the the thing that was the biggest giveaway was when he was going over the weapons. First off, one of the weapons is named the Marston Revolver. Yeah, like, but that'd from, be pretty last cool. I can of, see that. I can see that coming. But he said inclu- three new weapons, including the Marston Revolver, the Military Carbine, and many more. Three new weapons, and he listed well, off see, two. The, the, the image that I got was more. like, the image I got, the paragraph was cut off. So I never got to like read everything. But so you got the ghetto version. Yeah, yeah. basically so. Austin got like half the text in one paragraph and just put like he just figured out the rest of the words in his head. Yeah, He's like but, all right, well, uh, this but is, yo, like, the Marston revolver that'd be pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. There's a revolver coming for sure, man. There's so many things coming to GT Online. Like I I've been tweeting about this a lot yeah, lately obviously. just because I'm so excited about GT Online and and I don't know anything compared to anybody else. I just know as much as everybody else, but. I'm um, I'm really excited for the way Rockstar is gonna be handling Look, GT Online. And it's They're not even be... Rockstar, man. Like PC, you got like. I can't push this enough. Whether or not Rockstar adds it, people on, who mod on PC, they're going to add it. So, like, that's no, what yeah, I'm so Yeah, of course, excited. but, like, Rockstar's going to make this, like, their long-term game. Because they've never yeah. had a game like this that they could just, you know, pump out content for. Like, they've always had to wait, like, years to make games. Yep. And now they have GT Online where they could just have a set team uh, working on GT Online consistently. And it's pretty cool. And just churning through DLC content, like, every month. Which isn't hard. Like, what, two, two to three new cars every month, two new guns, new clothes, new emotes, new yeah. hairs, new tattoos. Not hard to do. Like, that's just, like, simple stuff. That's just, like, to keep us, you know, here in the game or playing the game for the big DLCs. Like, heists or, like, cops and crooks. Like, single player of the DLC. Like, the casino DLC. Things like that. Just to keep us waiting. 
But um, the fake DLCs, I honestly didn't fall for yeah, any of them. Well, and and uh, continuing from like the, the, the heist DLC, because everybody fell for that, or, or most people did at least. Like there have been so many other people taking advantage of that and making their own like fake DLC. I seen one that was like the Aqua DLC. Then there was like the North Yankton DLC. Then there was like the Vinewood DLC. It's like, come on guys, you can give that a rest now. So, for you guys watching out there, if you see any of these DLCs, unless like some code is found from the marketplace it's most probably not real yep and and yeah. make and honestly guys just be very careful who you watch on youtube i know you guys are what clearly if you're this far into the video you clearly like watching us or me or austin or ross one of us that are in this squad cast but just be very careful what other youtubers you listen to as we don't have any problems with other youtubers just some people just make the worst content like i'm sorry to say that but like just like They'll see, like, oh, my God, there's a freaking parachute you can use as a weapon. Let's make a video about it. And, like, that just sounds stupid. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff that, that's been coming out lately just, just sounds so dumb. doesn't even sound real. Yeah, and, even sound like yeah because Rockstar people are just taking advantage of, like, the leaked code from the hipster DLC. They're like, oh, and then like, some, dude, some dude in his basement's like, oh, look, I found this code from the marketplace. And it's, I don't know, ships... I don't know. I don't know. Something made up coming in. Everybody's like, "Oh my God, it's coming! It's on the marketplace." So you gotta just be careful with what you, you know, read and stuff. So yeah, yeah. And just be careful because like that's how like false information is created. Because then one person hears about it, then that person tells his friend about it, and then you know, it's just an endless cycle of just fake information. <laughs> yeah. I got so many tweets and people are like, "Garrett, when are you gonna make a video about the heist DLC? It's coming out." I'm like. It's not That's out. the only reason I made that video. Because yeah. people were tweeting at me saying it's real. And I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah. Like, I was just, dude, I've been so slammed. That is the year. worst. Like, was it well photoshopped? Yes. But there were some clearly easily recognizable mistakes in that. The thing is, a lot of people don't realize those mistakes. And, like, you have to really and analyze it and not be caught up in the hype. Yeah. If, yeah, if, so I, didn't, if lesson, I didn't have, like, don't half the paragraph story. cut out, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I could have, I would have figured out, like, all right, this isn't fake, but. Sure. Yeah, but anyway, the, the attack helicopter. <laughs> like, really, you're gonna call your military he helicopter the attack helicopter? Yeah. You're just gonna leave it at that? So yeah, yeah. it was fake. Uh, yeah, definitely fake. And all the DLCs that come out that aren't confirmed by Rockstar or have some kind of backing that I mean, like a picture, okay, but even some yeah. source code you can't believe. An example, the flamethrower back in the day, <laughs> yeah. super fake. Like that was like, hello, like that was from another game, but. Let's uh let's go ahead and turn to the fan questions. So yeah. um so before I get into this again, these are from the squeakpipe.com. Um I don't really want to leave the link in the description just because I know like a lot of you guys are going to want to ask questions. If you do follow us on Twitter cuz it's going to be like a Twitter exclusive thing cuz we can only get 20 messages per month with the free version like I said at the beginning. God, that's so little. Well, no. So like if we put it in the uh in the description then like we're going to get so many more. And I think if I actually delete them, we can get more than 20. But anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys follow us on, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever whatever social medias we have. So you guys can find a link to the Squeak Pipe. Yeah. Squeak Box. Squeakpipe.com. Squeak, squeak thing. If, uh, if you do wind up going on there, try to ask a question. Like, I mean, obviously, you guys want to talk, whatever. But try to, like, give us something that we can discuss on the podcast. So... We have well, can five you give us questions. an example real quick of well, just like one that you would want people to say? Good, good general gaming questions. Yeah. Like, okay, Not I, like I, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Like you could just do this like an example. Like you could simply say, hey, the Saints fan, Mr. Boss the Win, Garrett, I'm a big fan. I wanted to go ahead and call in today because I wanted to ask you guys, what are some of your favorite games from the FPS genre? Like something like that. Or yeah. maybe like what um, what is your favorite part about GTA V? Stuff like that. It's very simple. And very to the point, but also letting us know how you feel or you want to make a comment. You can even say, hey, Mr. Box the Wind, the Saints fan, and Garrett, you suck dick. But I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah. We, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you want to say. So but go ahead. And so get it into the first question. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do all five because I don't know how long it's going to go. But first question we have from Justin. And I'm going to play this through my mic. This is actually on my phone. So hopefully it sounds good. Hopefully everybody oh, can hear God. it. But here we go. Here we go. So it's loading up right now. Hello, squad. For the Independence Day DLC, if it does come out, do you think Rockstar will implement a camo for the guns and the cars, like a full American flag or like Stars and Stripes camo or flags of other Independence Day countries? 
Thank you for using my question, and have a good day. Okay, so that sounds say, pretty good, first of all. That was, oh, yeah, that was sounded great, right. and his question was very exactly... That's a good question. Yeah, that was like, amazing. It, what was his name? Did he leave his, his name? His name was Justin. Yeah, I'm not. He has an email, or I'm not going to do that. But his well, name's Justin. Justin so thank, thank you, you for, Justin. Yeah, that's that was yeah, great. Be sure to tell everyone his email and password and social security. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> but uh, Ross, go ahead and answer that if you want, if you want to touch that. Yeah, I can. I can really see some. I can see something like that more on guns um, than I can cars, just because the only real like flag kind of thing we've seen so far is the sticker bomb and i know that's not a flag at all but that's the only that's thing like we've the only seen of like putting... you've seen on a car yeah yeah and maybe they might put something on the sanchez because i know the sanchez has a patriotic theme yeah it has an american flag theme but i can really see like um for the gun camo absolutely car camo might be pushing it but guns yeah yes. and they also touched on like other nations that's one thing that is going to be interesting to see what rockstar does because it is an Independence Day DLC, and if they do release it in July, that's going to be sort of around, like, the United States. But what about people from UK and all these other countries, you know? They kind of feel left out, so I wonder if they're going to put something in there uh, for those guys, you know? Do you have any yeah, thoughts, that'd be, Garrett? That would be really interesting. Um, I think that skinning guns like putting skins on guns is very easy for companies to do. It's a very easy way for people to just for them to make money. That's what Call of Duty does. They're very well known for that. They just skin all their freaking guns. And yeah. Even yeah, like counter, even like Counter Strike. Counter Strike has so many skins, and they cost hundreds of dollars for stupid stuff. But um, I think that it's very easy for them to do the the weapon skins, car skins, maybe not so much. I can definitely see clothes, maybe like a spray painted hair, American colors, like American flag colors. I don't know, things like that. Um, but. I, I'm just so blown away on how great that question was. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the next one. And keep in mind, like. That dude had pretty good voice quality. Uh, some of these guys, you know, their mics aren't as good, so just bear with everybody. But this next one is from Jeremy, and I'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and play it. So I'll load up here in a second. Hey guys, love the videos. Um, I was just wondering, what is the most annoying thing that you hate about GTA Online, and what have you done to combat it? So that was—I don't know if you guys most heard that. Most annoying thing most about annoying GTA Online. Thing about GTA Online. Yeah. Yeah. Why we done you say the matter? lag? <laughs> the fact that like nothing um, moves <laughs> half the time when people are around you. I mean, I know me and Garrett. Nice. I don't, that's probably uh, at least for me and Garrett because we stream a lot. I think it's the lack of invite-only session options. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. That's true. I I think it's a combination of that what Ross just said, and also the fact that everyone likes killing us. Yeah, that's really annoying. That's like kind of passive annoying. mode, I can still get run over. That's really annoying. Yeah. And then when you get stuck in the air, like loading. Between jobs or like loading in a GTA line, you just get stuck. Even though they fix it every single patch it seems, it still <laughs> is broken. <laughs> it's true. So and there's nothing you can really combat against. I mean, the only thing for the getting killed aspect is just invite only. Yeah. Which I do, and I still get killed because I invite viewers and they still kill me. Yeah. Um, but when they're loading, dude, all I gotta do is just turn off my Xbox and turn it back on. That's the only way I can combat it. Yeah. What about you, Austin? Uh, well, I, like I said, like. When we live stream, I hate going into free roam because you try to go to the military base, no, nothing spawns. You try to get a Titan, nothing spawns because, like, everybody's around you. Every Like, the cars don't spawn. You can have five <laughs> stars. No cops even come near the you. Other, the other day I was live streaming, and I, was, I jumped in. We went to the airport. Dude, I don't know what happened, but the Titan kept spawning with the Titan <laughs> being there, oh, and they really? just kept exploding That's upon funny. themselves. Like, it would be one there, it would explode, another one would spawn, and just, dude, by the time the, like, five minutes in, there was, like, 50 Titans in the garage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just all blown up. It's like, okay, no one even got close to it, but you guys want to do one more squeaky, pipey thingy? Um, yes. Yeah, let's, uh, who do we want? Do we want Jaden, Anonymous, or Kill Curio? Pick one. I don't know. Uh, Ross, let's you go pick. with Jaden. Jaden, okay. Yeah. So this is from Jaden, and... Many people are losing faith in heist. It has been delayed so many times that it's almost to a point where it's become unacceptable. Do you think there's anything Rockstar could do to apologize to the people, as in give them a bonus such as a DLC or something more directly linked into the heist? I think this would be awesome and would be almost worth waiting this long for heist for. So God, Everyone's so good at questions. So happy. We have I fans. think there's going to be like a stimulus package 2.0. I think there has to with be heist. at this point. Like just to say sorry, guys. 
Like they, they, there's gonna be something. Some kind of there has to be some kind of compensation. But like I, I mean, like we, Rockstar like we was earlier. wide open in the end zone and they tripped. <laughs> and that, that's, yeah, that's like that's much that. that's what it was for heist. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, that, and that's it. What if they give I you mean, a they missed car. a slam dunk. They they literally they haven't it. missed it yet because there's still a lot of hype. Like honestly, no matter. If they release it today, tomorrow, next year, they'll still people will still come play heist, like guaranteed. Well, yeah, yeah. They know no, that. But, but it's been a while, and people are kind of disappointed. So, like, what could what do you think that Rockstar could do to uh, like alleviate that? It's gonna be literally stuff. when heists come out. It's gonna be a grand slam. It's gonna be like, dude, I think it's gonna be amazing. I think I'm over hyping it right now, maybe, but I think it's gonna be the best thing to come to GTA Online, like since the release of the game. I honestly believe that was like. Full hardly like that's how, I'm not hyping enough that much because then I don't want to be let down. But dude, I'll, I'll probably be let down. But the thing is, like Rockstar, you know Rockstar, they always deliver. Yeah, on they these go big, big or go projects. home, right? So yeah, exactly. Like, big they, on this. like look at their track record. What was the last failed game they had that just didn't do well? Like, I I can't think of one. Maybe what did did Bully do well? I can imagine I it did. Know. Yeah. But but like most of their games are always home runs, and if not home runs, they're like. Freaking world record, GTA <laughs> 5, amazing billions dollars type of thing. So heists are not only going to be, in my opinion, amazing, but hopefully it's something the community really likes. Now, in terms of, of us waiting so long, it's I honestly believe it's probably going to be worth it. And I don't know what well, you yeah, guys... Well, yeah, but, but what... I mean, I, I think that they should give us... I don't think it's going to be money because if they give us money, like... They've already they're taking away our money from like uh, patching all these uh, missions and stuff. So it's probably not going to be money. They gave us they were generous that one time with the five hundred thousand. But uh, if they were going to give something just to be like, listen, we're sorry about taking so long and and you know whatever. It might be a car or something like that. You know, a sweet car for free that you get with the heist update or something. I, you know, that's probably what it would be if there is going to be something like that. What do you think? I'd rather them give us nothing than, than a little car. People are gonna be pissed. Like, not a oh. little car, but like like a like a I don't wanna say a supercar, maybe like a, a four door sport sports car that's free. For like a weekend okay. or something. Not not like you, you it's only free for that weekend, not like it goes away. Because wasn't that the case with the uh, five hundred thousand? It was only if you played during like October or something way back in the day. Yeah. It was yeah. like you had to pay you had to play a certain month. Yeah, yeah. so if they were, I mean, I would appreciate that. I know a lot of people would. It, it, you know, it probably we'd still be a little bit mad that they've taken so long, but at least it would be something. You know, we just see them saying, "Look, we're sorry. Have this little thing and enjoy heist." You know. Yeah. What do you think, Ross? I agree. I mean, I I think it's going to be a little something, but it's definitely not going to be huge. Yeah. 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 Totally. So. That was the sweet uh, pipe thing. Rather, Again, if you guys uh, want us to get like the, um, I guess the more upgraded version, where we can get more questions, let us know if we should do it, like sponsorship deal. We don't want to like just throw it out there. We want to make sure you guys would want that, you know, or you don't mind that. But um, but yeah, so would you rather's? All right, this one let's do actually, like let's do like two of them. Yeah, so this one's actually from a fan on Twitter. I asked before we actually recorded this if anybody has one. And uh, his question was, would you rather have one leg or have one arm? Oh, God. I've, had, I've, t- had, t- I've had this question asked before, really? and I never know the answer because it's such a rough life to live with one leg and also a rough life to live with one arm. Like, you know what just sucks to have one arm? I think I, I, think I, think I, would, I would do, do one arm. leg. Really? I think I'd do one yeah. leg as well because you can because always get a prosthetic one... leg. Yeah. Well, let's I've, let's I've, take the prosthetic part out Have you seen people – like, with technology nowadays, yeah, prosthetic let's, let's, legs are like you're like yeah, a you can get a prosthetic Terminator. arm and Terminate. Yeah, but you can no, get you a can't. prosthetic arm. It's not, it's not, yeah, but you can't like grip stuff. It's yeah, not as cool. Dude, yeah, I but seen, it's not. I seen a story the other day. They God, put I a saw chip in a brain's freaking uh, that guy's brain. Yeah, that's called a uh, Terminator Three: Rise Look, of the Machines. He was like <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but no, they they literally put a chip in his brain to and he like moved his arm for the first time in like thirty years or something. So like. Yeah. League and, and arm. Crushed, and he crushed someone's skull with his yeah, hands. And then he yeah. started to go <laughs> kill people. He got, he... <laughs> but I don't know. I he survived a dip in a uh, hot I'm going to go with leg. I'm going to go mean, with leg. I don't yeah, use... Oh, well, wait up. Oh, I just thought about this. You couldn't play video games if you only had one arm. 
Yeah, you can. Are you kidding me? Have you not seen the streamer? Okay, it would be a, okay, would be a streamer lot that plays harder. with no arms. No, okay, let me rephrase that. You can. It would be a lot harder than with having one leg. Have you seen the streamer that plays with no arms, though? I mean, look, worst comes to worst with one leg, man. You can get a wheelchair. You can cut There's all a the lines at Disney World. And phew, that's a great life. There's a guy that li- – just because you cut the lines at Disney World. There's a guy <laughs> that streams, lines, right? Yeah. He has no arms and no legs. Yeah, no, I've seen him. He hit, like – yeah, but he plays with like a pencil in his mouth. Yeah, and he freaking he's like one of the best I think StarCraft players in yeah. the world. Like I have all my limbs <laughs> and, and I suck. suck at all games. <laughs> yeah, like, God, I suck. Yeah, now that I think but, about it, I think one leg would be the way to go. There you go. <laughs> just, just because. Fall the crowd. Well, no, it just yeah, yeah. Too hard. You, but... What's the next? Would you rather, Austin? So um, uh, let's see. So if you could only have one food item and one drink item for the rest of your life, what would they be? <laughs> Oh God! Like um, every day? Yeah, every day. Like, can I, is is that the only thing I can eat and drink? Yeah, yeah. You can only have like literally every day of your life. <laughs> you have the same food and the same drink. Okay, will my body okay. not deteriorate? No. Let's just say uh, no. Okay. I would just go with water for my drink. Same here. Yeah, water. And then for my and, food. Uh, oh God. Probably uh, like chicken. I don't know. I want chicken to after like, a while. Have you ever had chicken back to back? Dude, I, I eat chicken. Yeah, all the time. it is I bad, chicken. but I don't know anything back to back is going to suck. I love chicken, bro. Like, I have, we have chicken at my house like every day of the week. So that wouldn't be a big deal. I, I, I might go pizza, though. Pizza is just like a, such a generic yeah, but answer. Like pizza with any kind of topping? Or like, wait, could you, like, you know, put whatever you want on the I, I think it's, like, I don't think. Because, like, you could just say cereal, and well, I can yeah, have, like, have every any type of cereal. Time. Uh, I don't think I don't think it it will allow you to do that. The question allows you to do that. Um, yeah, good I thing I'm not in this world. <laughs> Lord. Uh, but if, I don't know, like a steak maybe. Like would that be good? Steak every day. That's, That's just, hard. It's so good, but it's so bad to do that. Like it just like I I've had steak like three days in a row before, and I've yeah, I don't know if I can like eat five steak. days. It's just. Just remember, like, remember we got packs and, and all these conventions. Like, remember having chicken tenders like every day? It gets really old. Yeah, it gets oh, really so good. old. What? No, I wonder if we can have that. Like, so you have chicken, but it's like prepared differently each day. I could do that. If that's the case, I'll do that because there's a ton of it, ways you could do a lot of chicken. stuff with chicken. Yeah, I'm, you can have chocolate covered that. chicken. Let's, let's say that. <laughs> you can have vanilla covered chicken. You can have every. You can put chicken in salad. You can put chicken on pizza. You can put chicken on pasta. You can eat chicken on a sandwich. You can put chicken on chicken. You can, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of different options here. I mean, Honestly, hey, there's water in lemonade. There's water in tea. There's water in soft <laughs> drinks. So, yeah, let me just have them all then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Perfect. All right, well, there do you go. want to take us out, Ross? Sounds like my everyday life. Yes. Uh, do you guys have anything else to say, or is this the is this I the end of the squad cast the, number 17? This is the end it. as we know it. Yep. All righty. <laughs> so this has been Squadcast episode 17. If you guys have made it this far, definitely drop a like on the video. Uh, whoever I hope you're watching. did that a long time ago. If you yeah, this hopefully you did it a long time ago. But if you forgot or you were like grabbing your popcorn for this video, <laughs> do it now. <laughs> and uh, check out all our Twitters in the description, all our social media stuff, Austin, Garrett, and mine. And um, other than that, that has been, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yep. So yeah. See you next Saturday, so guys. Good. Bye.